Uh, is the slide visible to all? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, right. Okay. Okay. I will stop the video. Right. Okay. See, exploratory factor analysis. See, this is the meaning of exploratory refers to you are going to discover or you have to find out. It is already available. Everything is available in your research variable, but you are going to explore or find out something new, new in, in terms of a big variable or a grouped variable, and you have to name it. Right? Suppose you may have uh, around 20 to 30 variables under one head. Say, our example is related to finance, to identify the level of financial literacy of the investors. We are uh, giving this survey. A structured questionnaire is given to the respondents, right, who are above 18 years of age uh, till 60. So certain 20 to 30 variables based on review of literature, right, based on review of literature, some 20 to 30 variables or statements are uh, listed out and they are provided to the respondents to find out their level of literacy uh, ranging in five point scale from strongly uh, disagree to strongly agree or um, from uh, more literate to least literate. Right. It depends on the way how the question is framed. Right. So what is here exploratory? Exploratory means we have to discover how these variables are related. Definitely these uh, 20 or 25 or 30 or even 10 or minimum 10 variables, say as per research uh, techniques, you should have at least 10 variables under one uh, category of uh, some question, right? Core question that is related to your research topic. So minimum of 10, maximum of 30 is okay. 20, uh, 20, 20 is right, ideal. Right, so you may have uh, uh, 20 variables under each and every part. First part A deals with your socio-economic profile. So that is about your uh, background of the uh, respondents, their age, gender, educational qualification, income, family size, uh, nature of family, etc. Et part B, from part B, our uh, core research starts. So from part B, whatever variables you are planning in your questionnaire, that should be supported by a strong review of literature. So review of literature is uh, uh, Sir, your voice is not properly audible. Okay, okay. Uh, am I audible now? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, right. Okay. Right. This is, see, for audio, I'm using my mobile because of this problem. All right. Where I left? Mm, yeah. So you have uh, 10 to 15 variables under each and every head. So it should be supported by a uh, proper, uh, well studied review of literature, right? So every statement you focus well and uh, justify your variables, right? This is point one. Now, um, what is exploratory? Among these 20 variables, some five to six variables, each five, each five to four variables may be connected towards each other. Uh, that we may not know, we may or may not know. So we want to group them. So factor analysis is a grouping technique. Please remember, factor analysis principally is a grouping technique where our idea is to um, put them in separate, separate groups. At the same time, it can be a elimination technique also. Elimination means while you are in the way of grouping, some variables you feel not so fit to the particular group. That is called a factor. So in if that the case, so 
by careful exam by after careful examination of the variables uh, your researcher has the liberty to eliminate them but do it very rarely because our purpose is not to eliminate variables we want to find out a common character or feature among the variables and we would like to group them that is the objective of factor finding a factor okay while doing so in case statistically if they don't fit after looking into the quality of variables you one may decide whether you have you can remove the variable or not right so this is about factor what is the meaning of factor so here please mm, move this window away from share presentation right so factor analysis is a statistical technique to study the interrelationship among the variables in an effort to find a new set of factors fewer in number not fewer, fewer in number than the original variable so that the factors are common among the original variables now you now you got a good idea about what is factor a factor he said it refers to grouping of grouping of variables on what basis based on their interrelationship and some common trait common features among them that uh, statistically we will find out uh, what are the common traits how to do okay using factor analysis the researcher can reduce the large number of variables into few dimensions called factor that summarize the data right it aims at grouping original input variables into factors which underlying the input variables okay so what is Uh, good evening, sir. I am Rashmi Rekha Pradhan. I want to say neither the slides nor your voice is audible, neither the slides is visible. So it's quite difficult for me to understand. जस्ट अमेंट शेयर द स्क्रीन अगे नो 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 दिस एक मिनट रेजुलेशन एंड स्लाइड जस्ट अ मोमेंट आई एम Like it's not funny. Exploratory screen, iPhone files, advanced basic say, statement. Same here. Okay, okay, okay. Is it shared now? Participant, just uh, put a message. Enough. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's okay. Uh, okay. Right. Okay. uh right so what are the terminologies i will just go fast because we have hands on session also factor is an underlying construct or dimension that represent a set of observed variables you you uh, locally you take it the term as a, a team leader right a group leader a factor is a group leader now factor loading helps in interpreting and labeling the factors loading means uh, it's a value that we will get Through statistical analysis, right? Then, in yes, step again, you start on our loading. There are correlation coefficients between the variable and the factor. See, suppose there is one factor; it has four or five variables grouped. The correlation coefficient between 
each and every every variable with the factor is called factor loading again factor loading refers to correlation coefficient between individual variables and the group leader that is called a factor third one eigen values they are very mathematical term it measure the variance in all the variables corresponding to the factor okay see in common meaning variance means what to what extent what extent the spread is to what extent the spread is variance is always the uh, square of standard deviation mathematically uh, statistically if you square your standard deviation you will get the variance right what is standard deviation then from the central variance, from the central value from the central value to what extent slide is not changing from the okay from the from the central just a moment so you know the measures of central tendency right mean median mode so standard deviation is a measurement to find out the deviation of your original values from the uh, measures of central tendency say uh, you take here if it is a likert survey you should okay what are the terminology used eigen values it measure the variance in all the variables corresponding to the factor that means variation means to what extent they are away from the central central median value suppose you are using likert type uh, you should not use mean because arithmetic mean is recognized as a central measurement value for measured data not for likert scale so remember always use median if you do any non parametric based statistical analysis eigen values are calculated by adding the squares of factor loading of all the variables in the factor so how to find out you have to uh, add the square of factor loading of all the variables in the factor right generally factors with eigen values more than 1 are considered stable so what is a thumb rule if eigen value is greater than 1 they are stable right So now, the next slide. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Abhi terminology. After that, communalities. Communalities. They are denoted by h square. 
the percentage of variance in each variable explained by the factors extracted. They ranges from zero to one. Minimum level is zero and maximum value is one. A high communality value represent the maximum amount of variance in the variable explained by the extracted factor. So if you have 0.9 and above communality value, that is good. You should not uh, eliminate that particular variable. I will uh, explain this with reference to our case study. Right? Next one, total variance. It is a percentage of total variance of the variables explained. This is calculated by adding all the communality values of each variable and dividing it by the number of variables. This I let you know once we start our analysis. Factor variance explained. Okay, all this is okay. Now, what is the criteria for determining number of factors? Criteria for determining number of factors. One, Kaiser Mayer criterion. Eigen values is a good criteria. See, when you perform factor analysis, uh, it will prompt for either you are using Eigen values or you are using your own method. By default, use agent values. That is uh, universally accepted. If agent values is greater than one, we should consider that as a factor. If they are less than one, we should not consider. This is according to Kaiser criteria. There is another rule, variance extraction rule. It should be more than 0 0.7. That means 70 percentage. In your analysis, the, uh, once you are running this factor analysis, you should get a minimum of 70 percentage variance, total variance. If the variance is less than 70 percent, then you should not consider that particular group as a factor, right? Okay, now, sorry. Now let us go to one case study. Before that, we are framing one hypothesis. There exists no significant variable variability among the variables subject to the factor analysis. What is the null hypothesis in factor analysis? You, have, you may note it down. There is no significant variation among the research variables for which you are performing this analysis, right? There is no significant variation. That is called null hypothesis. Usually null hypothesis, please remember, it is always in positive terms. But we are, Indians are great people. We put two negative sentence, two negative. One is no, another one, variability. So no variability, that means what? No variation, no variation means what? Same. So, uh, variables are, there is, no, no, there is no difference in variability among the variables. So, all the variables are, what, is it audible? Any participant? Yes, sir. Yes, audible, right. Yes. No, I got one line, is it audible, right? So, see, always null hypothesis is a positive or affirmative statement. But, the way how we studied in our academic line is to project them in with the help of two negative statements. There exists no, this is one negative, and variability. Actually, variability is not a positive term, right? Uniqueness is a positive term. The opposite of uniqueness is variability. So there is there exists no variability. So what is the affirmative term for this statement? There is uniqueness. All variables are unique. So when all variables are unique, definitely they cannot be categorized. Clear? See, when, when your 20 statements, research statements are all similar with respect to some future, then how you can group it? There is no chance of grouping them. So factor analysis cannot be performed. That is why we are now framing one hypothesis. There is no uh, significant variability. This is null hypothesis. Suppose if null hypothesis is disproved, what is the opposite side? There exists a significant variation among the variables. Okay. Why I am giving this hypothesis? Pain? When you do KMO Berlet test, while doing KM, the purpose of KMO Berlet test is for sampling adequacy and to uh, go ahead with this uh, hypothetical statement also. Then, case study KMO and ANOVA. Yes. KMO is for sampling adequacy, ANOVA is for uh, yeah, your uh, hypothesis. Case study. A research survey was conducted to identify financial literacy of individual investors by giving a, a structured questionnaire in Delhi. We Now, what is our task? We have to group them. The factor analysis, again, very simple term, grouping the variables, right? Grouping the variables. Now, I am stopping this and, okay, or else I will go to the new share.
Where is this? Uh, okay. Now, please tell me, participant, is the SPSS file is open? Yes, sir. Yes, right. SPSS file is open, right? Chat. Yes. Yes. What about other participants? 64 people are there. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, right. sir. Okay. Yes, sir. It is okay. 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 Right. Now, so this SPSS file contains data, a data set, right? How many variables are now listed? 11. Uh, no, no, it has so many variables. FS 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, ah, 12. So 12. From 2 to 12. So how many variables? 2 to 12. 11. 11 research statements are presented in part A of your questionnaire. Assume you are giving in Google link. Part, sorry, part A is for socioeconomic variable, demographic variables. Part B, in part B, you are giving this 11 variables, research variables, right? Okay. Then again in part B, FD1 to FD1 through FD11. Again, 11 variables in part C, right? So 11 variables in part B, 11 variables in part C, okay? Okay. This F. D is called financial discipline. Uh, uh, I will show how you have to perform this factor analysis. Go to the variable view. See, it is in Likert scale. Uh, click the value. Click the values. It is in the Likert scale. Likert scale means what? Likert scale minimum five point. It may go up to eleven point also. But uh, if you keep, if you keep for seven or nine, it's good. The, you will get more chances uh, for data to get uh, normally distributed. In Likert scale 5, you may get uh, very rare this normal distribution uh, approval, right? Because for parametric test, your data should qualify the uh, normal distribution principle, right? So make sure that uh, whether this five point scale is sub uh, are subject to your normality test. But uh, I say 90 percentage, they will not satisfy. Okay. But for factor analysis, there is no hard and fast rule. Uh, it, uh, you, can, you can do it for Likert scale. So always to always frequently anticipate, rarely never. This is about skill, financial skill. Always means you are always practicing the skill frequently um, as and when possible. Anticipate. Anticipate means what? He has no idea. Rarely. And this actually, it should not be undesired. It should be um, occasionally. Is it wrongly given? Because in the in the order, it should be occasionally. Occasionally means what? Okay, there, then and there. Then fourth one rarely. Fifth one never. Okay, now I have changed it. Then now I have to copy this. I should copy this because I made a change, right? Okay, okay. So I do copy. It's copied. I am just uh, verifying. Always, frequently, occasionally, rarely, never. Right? Okay. Actually, it is not exact the liquor type. Liquor type means from from uh, plus to zero minus or minus zero plus. But uh, okay, the results are al almost similar from uh, from the from the degree of strong to strongly following. From it starts from strongly following the particular set of skill and ends with not following, right? Okay. So now meaningfully understood what is the variable nature. Now we'll go to analyze, analyze, dimension reduction. I'm, I'm going very slowly. First you click analyze, dimension reduction. Then you click factor, factor. Now you select one by one. How many FS9? What about others? Uh, FS10, 11, 12. First, we are uh, conducting this test for financial skill, financial skill of individuals, right? 
financial skill or uh, literacy okay because financial skill discipline everything comes under literacy only so you if you click this button it will go to the right side you look at the empty box is on the a empty box is filled with the variables right okay now you there are some menus available click descriptives univariate descriptives initial solution it is already ticked mm, then coefficient significant levels determinant you tick this came on bartlett test it is a test for sampling adequacy then uh inverse reproduced anti image okay you tick this uh, i think so reproduce right okay then significant levels okay no problem determinant we don't need extraction see there are various methods look at principal component unweighted least square generalized least squares maximum likelihood principal axis alpha factoring image factor actually if you, if you don't want to eliminate even a single variable then you should follow principal axis factoring see suppose you are very stubborn no sir uh, i don't want my variable to go out of my research survey see i told you clearly factor analysis is a method to group the variables and find out a, a latent a hidden factor okay at the same time while doing so there are, there exists a possibility that the factor may the, the one or two variables may get eliminated one or two variables may get eliminated suppose you are very firm that sir i don't want my variables to get eliminated you please follow principal axis factoring because that method uh, retains all the variables and tries its level best to retain a variable and with that it will form a factor right alpha image factor these are all various methods usually principal component is a standard one principal component maximum likelihood i recommend this two i will go to principal component right correlation matrix covariance unrotated it is already the scree plot you take scree plot is to um, measure uh, the variance the that is what the journey of this variance uh, uh, through graphical method okay based on see uh, i told you in the theory part there are two extraction uh, technique eigen value based number of factors based so if you want to follow which you want to follow so we follow eigen value right one okay continue right. then so these two menus are over rotation see there are five rotation very max direct oblimin quarti max eco max pro max a very standard one is very max very max what is the meaning very means variance max means maximum this method this method of rotating the variables will extract the maximum variability maximum variability and help you to uh, group them into meaningful factors right so maximum iteration that you don't do anything is already there 25 25 times it will uh, iterate if you have studied operation research i think so most of it first iteration second iteration there are iterations right in simplex method so similarly here for converging your uh, uh, this factors 25 times it is iterated but it is by default you can increase that then scores if you save it as a variable it will it will be saved in your data file then display factor score coefficient matrix factor if you want to display factor score okay you click this you will get a coefficient matrix for the factor options this you leave as it is ah coefficient display format you do sorted by size click sorted by size click suppress small coefficient my suggestion 0.30 30% age what is the meaning the meaning is when you are uh, getting this output when we are getting this output after performing efa we don't want the table to show values less than 0.30 actually the the original meaning is we are permitting 
overlapping to the extent of 30 percentage see the research meaning is uh, i told you how many statements we are uh, taking this for efa 11 so we are considering 11 statements for factor analysis while doing so definitely they will prove sir ha ah. sir i am not able to understand any which one no absolute value point that's what that's what i am explaining now all variables will be related in a certain, uh, certain way right variables are definitely uh, see it is a relational database technique any research is a relational database technique point one okay but the idea is higher the higher the relationship among the variables they will be grouped in a separate team okay mm, i will uh, how to say suppose you take a classroom of 30 students right 30 students you want to group five group so group 1 group 2 group 3 group 4 group 5 groups group 5 each group should have six students okay can you say that uh, all the 30 students are uh, not having any single common property you can't say like that definitely all the 30 students will have some common trait one or two or three common trait so research permits this common relationship up to 30 percentage right but uh, but lesser the percentage is good Less, uh, lesser the percentage is good okay so um, continue say i will show you in your uh, output sir sir in fact sir may i raise some question sir yeah no no let, let me finish please uh, once you get the output table you will understand right okay are you getting this output table no right yes uh, i will show it output table yes. uh, are you are you, is output table visible all of you put it in chat box please visible visible right uh, first listen then we can i will take the questions definitely see my way of lecturing is we should not get any question with that keeping that point in mind i am explaining everything right it's like uh, before uh, taking a road you you are completely aware uh, aware of the road uh, dimensions uh, whether the road is uh, having some pitfalls or is it clear like that okay came on battle test laser mail laser mail or kin measure of sampling adequacy is 0.859 okay that means see the uh, actually the thumb rule is if it is greater than 0.7 good you you please note it down 0.7 and above good so your sample is adequate the meaning is your sample is adequate uh, there are certain research where i saw that uh, variables are good but they are surveyed for only 100 or 150 participants or respondents see if you are getting less number of samples uh, then what it is not adequate then now it is it is adequate here next bartlett test of sphericity see significant point triple zero ha uh, i told you what is an null hypothesis can anyone unmute and say what is an null hypothesis for factor analysis no variability sir ha uh, no significant variability that is null hypothesis now what is the p value here can you tell me what is the p value here p value is less than 0.05 it is it means it is significant sir uh, amit ranjan is it your voice right yes sir yes sir okay if p value is less than 0.05 now here look at what is the significance value 0.000 right 0.00 that means it is lesser than 0.05 then what you have to do if p value is less than 0.05 what is the inference we should reject null hypothesis we should reject null hypothesis okay so what 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 will happen if you if you reject this null hypothesis pranita singh pranita singh kya aap walking kar rahe hain kya abhi class mein can you answer this yeah please unmute yourself i am very happy that uh, people are moving 
but at the same time see when uh, hands on sessions are going please focus it uh, can you answer this whether null hypothesis is accepted or rejected sir uh, sir may no, i answer go answer karne ke liye chance dijiye na pranita singh are you with us if significant if p value is less than 0.05 what is the rule statistical uh, inference are you put it in chat box yes shall i leave the class till i can predict something out of this class sir who oh. why you are giving kind of please stay with us sir nahi samajh raha ha see aap samajh nahi pa rahe na आप आप यहाँ है ना क्लास में है ना आप हमारे साथ सी ये क्लास आपके लिए है मेरे लिए ले मेरा नाम के लिए नहीं ह्यूमन बिहेवियर किसका नाम के लिए नहीं पहले आप सब आपका ऑब्जेक्टिव समझ लेना प्लीज हाँ तो अभी इस सिग्निफिकेंट वैल्यू इस कॉल्ड पी वैल्यू राइट इसमें क्या वैल्यू आ रहा है अभी वट इज वैल्यू इस अरे आप देख रहे हैं ना ये आउटपुट इज विजिबल टू यू व्हाट इज द वैल्यू पी वैल्यू से आई एम आई एम आई एम नाउ हेल्पिंग यू विद दिस सर्कल व्हाट इज द पी वैल्यू जो मैंने टिक किया ना ये वैल्यू क्या है मे आई ओके हु इज इट मे आई किरण तापा ओके पॉइंट जीरो सर बता हाँ, 0.00. So now what is the, now what is the inference? Inference is null hypothesis is rejected. See, अब ये समझना है पहले null hypothesis कब reject होगा? When I am also typing in the chat box when p value when p value is less than 0.000, right? I think the message reached everyone. Null hypothesis is rejected. when p value is less than 0.000 so remember then only null hypothesis can be rejected now what is a null hypothesis null hypothesis ah abhi jo amit ranjan said aptly no variation no variation among the no variation among the variables so aapka jo variables are nothing but aapka research statement see variables or your research statement each and every statement is your variable so null hypothesis no variation among the variables now it is to be rejected so rejected so what is a rejection means what there exist there exist variation there exist significant variation you have to use significant remarkable this kind of uh, uh, terminology should be used for uh, statistical interpretation there exist variation among the among the variables there exist see I, i i have entered it in the chat box also there exist variation among the variables clear yes once you get this then only your factor analysis can be performed please remember see many many of you are not looking at this if you are not getting here if it is more than 0.05 please stop factor analysis cannot be done are okay wow, wow, what many researchers are doing hmm they are changing the values uh, in the output file uh, once you copy this in excel they will change the values and they say factor analysis is done that is left to you but uh, we are doing it honestly see research is what an honest attempt whatever is coming good good means good bad means bad that's all neutral is neutral so here what the value we got 0.00 so null hypothesis is rejected then there exists a variation now you go to the next one communalities look at the communalities here initial is 1 initially initially the uh, software assign a value of 1 then while they are extracting extracting means but picking out the common common variation they are able to extract to this extent 0.75 0.79 8473 8782 77 92 94 95 right 
so while looking it is extraction you can see that almost all the values are good usually in communalities less than 0.6 if you get any variable uh, you should mark the statements as weak weak means what they are not explaining your phenomenon weak means that variable is not explaining your phenomenon that is called weak uh, then you can uh, you, you you will discuss your guide you can have a discussion with your supervisor or guide and uh, and uh, after verifying the other process also that is uh, a rotated component matrix if the variable is weak you can eliminate and perform factor analysis again okay so now uh, to my knowledge all the variables are very uh, strong you are getting uh, the expected value more than 0.7 now the next table is total variance explained see listen how many statements 11 statement component means statement here statements initial agent values yes 5.9 1.7 1.4 thereafter what are the agent values you are getting 0.4 0.3 what is the criteria for determining what is the criteria for determining factor agent value score should be greater than 1 yeah i showed in my slide criteria for determining a factor is agent value score should be greater than 1 keeping that in mind this spss took first three component only that means component 1 2 3 component 1 it explains maximum variations right 5.9 when you see, when you see the percentage it is 54 percent component 2 15 component 3 13% again cumulative means you have to add 54 plus 15 69 plus 13 82 okay what is the maximum percentage here see here 82.986 986 i have circled it again extracted sum you come to the extracted sum these both are same only right 54 69 at the same 82.986 again in rotated sum also it is same only 82 but but what is the difference you know see here here the percentage of variance in initial agent values and the extraction they are same they are same okay but in rotated uh, i will i will show it in a yellow color in rotated matrix in rotated matrix it is not 5.9 it is 3.96 and next one is 2.6 and next one is 2.5 so rotation means what rotation it is called I'll use some other color. First component is explaining to the extent of 35 percentage. Second component is explaining to the extent of 24 percentage. Third component is explaining to the extent of 22.905 percentage. Right? Right. Uh, Madam, thank you. Uh, because of that speaker headset uh, problem, I'm using my mobile only. I'm using two devices. that's why i be in the beginning of session i was trying to reach you but okay no problem is the voice clear okay see the purpose is i have to reach you that's all so now component 1 giving you 35 percentage of explain explains 35 percentage of total variance component 2 24 component 3 22 so what is the total the total is 82 this total 82.986 very good what is the thumb rule for variation what is the thumb rule for variation how much it should be i told you in the slide amit ranjan sir it should be more than 0.7 sir yes i am typing it again variation should be more than 0.7 that means yes all of you see the chat box also variation 
should be more than 0.7. Okay, see, we, even in, uh, you know, the method of sample size cal calculation, the minimum of P, even in calculating sample size, minimum probability are taking 50 percentage and Q is 50 percentage, 0.5, 0.5, right? So, by default, 50 percentage variation is expected minimum. That is minimum in sample size calculation itself. But in the, while you are take, doing this factor analysis, how much uh, it is expected? 70 percentage variation is expected. Okay. Then, now, what is the next one? I will put a uh, scree plot. I will do. I will do all this. Control is at just a moment. Okay. Scree plot. When you see scree plot, look at the first one. First component is uh, the the line is so steeper, right? Then second component is okay. Third component is okay. Then after that, you see there is a flat line. The, see, the lines are flattened. The lines are flattened. What is the meaning? The variation stops. The variation stops. The variation stops. So component one is explaining maximum slope. In mathematically, you say maximum slope, right? You, can, you say ma maximum slope is explained by component one, component two to some extent, component three, okay. After that, four from four, four, five, six, seven, see the, the line is flattened. So purpose of scree plot is to uh, make it clear that there exists no significant variation after fourth component. Up to three component, it is okay, right? Okay, just a moment, uh, I will erase all this. Yes. Okay. Right. Good. Right. Is a scree plot clear? Meaning, see, for whatever the figure table you are uh, going to give it as output, you must know what is the meaning first. Then after that only you can write in your interpretation. And Every table in your uh, thesis should be preceded by a write-up and uh, succeeded by an interpretation. Remember, any table or figure, before you give a table, you must give a uh, write-up first for one paragraph at least. So what is, a, what is this a table is about and why it is so commonly. But after this uh, figure or table, you should give an interpretation, right? Okay, then next, component matrix. Leave the component matrix. Leave the component matrix, no need. Go to reproduced correlation. Are you all with me? Reproduced correlation, right? Now look at this line. Which line? Residuals are computed between observed and reproduced correlations, right? There are, there are 12, 21% 21 non-redundant residuals. There are 21% non-redundant residuals with absolute values greater than 0 0.05. Uh, this is not good. Which is not good? In your research, you should not have non-redundant residuals. What is residual? The left out, the balance. Non-redundant means waste. Redundant means, okay, very technically waste, not significant. Non-redundant means significant. I will write the meaning. Non-redundant means it's a significant residual. The waste is significant with absolute value greater than 0 0.05. This is permitted. To what extent it is permitted, you know? Up to 50 percentage. Okay, 50 percentage is maximum permitted. Non-redundant residuals. But if you keep it within 35 percentage, it is good. In, uh, in, uh, while, while you do this research, in your original research work, keeping these non-redundant residuals who are have which whose absolute value greater than 0 0.05, if the percentage is 35 percentage and less, it is good. Now, how much is the percentage now here? Put it in chat box. What is the percentage of non-redundant? 21. Yes, Akansha Sharma. Yes, Bukhya Anil. 21. 
Sweta Kumari. Good. Very good participant. This uh, participants are very focused. What about others? How many participants are there? Amir Parvez. Okay. Vinita Verma. Okay. Okay. Participant, you please enter your name. Don't put iPhone and all. Who is this iPhone? Okay. Okay, Praveen Patel. Praveen Patel. Huh. Tell me what is the percentage here? 21 percentage, right? Prayer Naraj. Okay, Mary Kahari. Good, good. Huh. See, the only happiness is uh, that if you are all with us, uh, we feel very happy at the end of the day. Okay, uh, participants were with us and they, they are taking something. Whether it is, see, immediately you will not be a great master in this all statistical thing. It will take time. You have to run so many analysis, uh, even in factor analysis, you have to keep on working on it. So 21 percentage non-redundant is acceptable, less than 35, good. Count wise 12, count wise, this 12 means how, if you, if you count, this is a residual is there, you know, here residual is there. If you count, you will get 12 residuals whose values are greater than 0 0.05. You can, you can easily count, look at this here, 0.59, this is 1, 0 0.0992, here 2, again, 0 0.1093, 5, 6, 4, 6, 7, 5, 5, then 5, 9, 6, then 5, 5, 7. If you count, you will get the total. Total number is 12, okay? Now, rotated component matrix. Rotated component matrix. Huh. See, look at, uh, this is a very important uh, step in our grouping. These 11 variables are grouped into three major groups, right? 11 statements without uh, any elimination, they are grouped into three. What is the first group? FS6, 4, 3, 5, 2. What is FS6? Your statement 6, statement 4, statement 3, statement 5, statement 2. So these five statements are, these five statements are grouped, right? Okay. Then they are grouped into group 1. And look at the loading. See, this is called factor loading. Factor loading can anyone enter the meaning of factor loading? What is factor loading? Meaning? Sir, co uh, sir. Ah. sir co uh, correlation uh, of one to uh, all, all variables, sir. Correlation? Correlation coefficient of one variable, one to all. Uh, ah. Factor loading, I, I'm, I'm writing in the chat, chat box. Factor loading means, means, hmm, CC. CC means correlation coefficient. Okay. Between, between whom? Between variable, between the individual variable. Variable is nothing but your research statement. Again and again, variable is very simple, your research statement. It is between variable and your factor. Variable and your factor. So factor loading means CC, uh, I, I have entered it. Look at, uh, see the chat box, uh, factor loading means correlation coefficient between your variable and, okay, it's not full, uh, and, and factor. Okay, now I am entering, and factor. Now 0.88, do you feel it is good or not? Good. That means, see, uh, assume the, 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 these five statements are formed into a group, right? And they are having, and they are having a common commonality, a common feature. To what extent? 88 percentage they are, this particular, this particular statement or variable, this particular statement or variable is related to the factor up to 88 percentage. That is good. That means you are, uh, you, you are uh, the way how you are grouping them is good. The thumb rule is 
minimum minimum it should be 0.7 see so in a, when you go to website they may say 0.5 0.6 plus don't don't keep them factor loading minimum 0.7 is i have not muted okay rajiv yes please what do you want you raised your hand uh, uh, sir uh, uh, i had a use of factor analysis in one of my article Okay. So, uh, in uh, this one factor loading, I had come uh, with a very peculiar kind of a, a problem. Okay. Uh, in my questionnaire, uh, I knew that it would come under like, in, for example, in factor one, oh. but that did not come in factor one. That particular question, it came in factor three, which was which supposed to not to be in factor three. So, okay. what would be the reason? Um, in factor three, what are the other statements? How many statements uh, in factor three? Sir, sir, uh, uh, like I was doing, like uh, uh, the well-being of an uh, employee. No, no, no. You need not yes, explain. Sir. So what I'm saying, mm -hmm. um, this table you are watching now, right? In group mm -hmm. one, you say, please say all participants. We let us use very understandable meaning. Factor will factor means a group head, your team leader. Uh, out of eleven people, three team leader emerged. Clear? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, are sir. your group? Are your group leader? So group. Are you say group? First group contains five statements. Second group contains three statements. Third group contains three statements. Now you tell me, mm -hmm. you you said that one of your statement came to group three. In group three, how many statements are there totally? Uh, so after doing uh, a rotation, I had two. Only two. Only two. But that okay. it's supposed to come on factor one, but it came okay. in a very separate as a uh, so uh, as a leader at factor three. Only huh. two statements were there. Okay, good. it's supposed to be in factor one. Okay, nothing wrong okay. because see how SPSS uh, does this analysis. Uh, can we can we assume one thing? See, based on the answers given to it, you know, computer is a basically computer is a garbage in, garbage out, right? First line, the meaning of a computer is whatever you do, whatever you input, it will based on the input only computer can answer. Correct. Mm -hmm. So now, you see the response of that particular variable. You are saying, you know, you are telling me, right, one particular variable which is which is not supposed to be in factor three, it came, right? Yes, sir. So now what you have to do, see the answer set. Are you following Likert or uh, discrete method? That is the original uh, value method. Sir, Likert I was following. Yeah, uh, Likert, five point. Yes, five point. Okay. Now, if you see the values of the Likert five point, of this statement and the other one, other statement in the group three, you said there are two statements. Mm. Here, here we got three statement ma, but in your research you got two statement, correct? Yes, sir. If you see the values of this answer of this uh, statement and other statement, almost they 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 will have some pattern. So the problem is, I am telling you, what is the problem is? Once you know, see, once you know. That this particular statement is not qualifying to be in another group. What you should have done while framing your questionnaire itself, you should have grouped it. Correct? See, <laughs> see, fact. Please uh, see all research scholar. Please listen to me. Word. When you are to perform factor analysis, when you have to perform means when you don't know how to group them. Point one. See, are you listening, Kin? Right. When you don't, know, Rajiv, Rajiv. Yes, sir. When you don't know, as a research scholar, when you don't know how to group them, you are, you have just given, you just gave eleven statements, throw, throw it to the respondents, and you don't know how to group them. Computer is helping you, correct? SPSS yes, is nothing but computer program. Computer is helping. Now, when you are Manual intelligence is supreme. That means you know how to group them. Why you are doing factor analysis? Point one. This is in the, the by this you will be ruled out. Actually, you will be bold, clean bold. Why means you know very well that this variable in terms of its uh, meaning. Please follow. In mm. terms of its meaning and application, this particular variable should be under group one. Correct. When yes, you are sir. very sure, 
the examiner will ask you why you conducted this instead of that while framing the questioner itself you can group group you know you have seen many questioner they will be subgrouped clearly see mm. part a or leave the part a part b questioner suppose you have 12 questions i have seen many questioner they are clearly grouped financial skill financial discipline financial literacy or you say if you are, what major you are now commerce or management or economics what is your major uh, so my management uh, human resource management uh, human resource suppose in human resource if you are doing means you say uh, human skill as a resource mm. or human capital so like that you have to categorize see the problem not only for you for many research scholar they are struggling with the problem the reason is your respondent doesn't know that this statement is uh, qualifying for uh, group 1 see purely based on the likert scale response factor analysis is done correct or wrong yes sir yes so your respondents are responsible for this mistake when before that before that you are responsible for this mistake because knowing clearly that this research variable is not qualified for factor 3 you have conducted factor analysis which is principally wrong so see for any studies if you are clear say it may be biology physics mathematics whatever may be any branch of knowledge if when while you are framing your questions right what is questioner you are a framing variable 1 2 3 while framing the variable if you are well aware that they are certainly grouped they they have a common feature and can be grouped please group them in the questionnaire itself and give it for survey in while you when you do that what happen you know the respondent will get an idea that these five questions are coming under this group correct okay. Okay. Ah, then ah then while answering they they will get an idea how how i can go strongly disagree for this particular variable which is coming under the same set of uh, variable group correct okay ha ah, so that is principally one mistake is happened okay suppose uh, you don't know how to group them but you grouped it no problem uh, you you uh, can you justify that uh, group 3 or it is totally irrelevant what is your idea uh sir uh, i had done but uh, i believe sir i had used a very few questions for three no no see please this yes sir are you are you okay with the factor 1 factor 2 in your research yes sir in factor 3 you got this uh, struct right yes sir okay but based on maximum variability computer gave you spss uh, put them in the capital factor 3 now my suggestion yes, is find out is there any chance of uh, continuing this with group 3 find out find out some other technique some other common variability hmm. see there should be some connectivity right you you explore yes, the sir. connectivity ha ah, see there are two things i should not say to a researcher in life either we should love that and get it or whatever we get you start you start loving it right there are only two way in life Yes, okay okay sir yeah ha uh, so similarly you got this computer gave this you start love this love this means what in group 3 these two statements came and hmm. you please obey that there will be some technique based on that uh, uh, technique of this uh, rotated matrix component matrix it it placed it in group 3 right okay find out find out uh, find out uh, in what way can you tell me that can you name me the two statements uh Rin- Rinko, don't show this uh, sadness because actually uh, this discussion is very good. Practically, when you conduct uh, once I leave this session, practically when you conduct this, this kind of problem will come. So I am happy that you, uh, your research scholar, is sharing with this, this kind of problem with me. Okay, but we should not take more time because we have regression also, right? Uh, tell me the two mm-hmm. statements. Hurry up. Uh, so I was doing on uh, the well-being. on environmental well being so i was doing on uh, i had environmental the ergonomics of the office and all so yeah. it's supposed to be in factor 3 i had made it are ba- as are per the statement jo factor 3 mein aapko do statement mila na usko aap bolye yes, main type karta hu hello 
you don't remember yes, that sir. now no no i'm not sure yes sir i uh, okay. yeah, researcher aap ji you are giving me a throwing me a doubt right i am ready to solve it but once you if you tell me the statement i will find it i will find the way how they can be related right okay see in life you can relate anything with anything they may remember this line research is such a nature that you can relate a with z also you can say after after z a will come in circular uh, in cyclical way after z a will come right ah uh, tell so me. i had uh, so i had a statement uh, like uh, Sir, has has your environmental wellness, like uh, cleanliness, drinking water, affected your mental health? Okay. And and a, a, another question had like, uh, the workstation was it ergonomics comfortable for the work efficiency? So these oh. two are supposed to be in uh, factor uh, one, which came to factor three. Oh, you mean the both the statements should be in factor one? Yes, sir. Factor one and factor one was my social well-being. Supposed to be, uh, suppose uh, the environment, environmental well-being, but it went to a social well-being. How it many well-being not... are there? How many well-being are there? Tell me. Sir, so, uh, in mine, uh, I had uh, four uh, four well-beings. I had. Okay, environmental well-being. Then. Yes, sir. Uh, environmental, social, uh, financial, environment. and intellectual. Social. financial intellectual you got, you got four uh, factor right yes sir four factor at financial and intellectual right yes, so sir. it where it went wrongly which which variable went where so uh, uh the two statement i had given supposed to go to the uh, environmental well being it went uh, to a social well being ah uh, that means in second component it went to second component yes right? sir yes in sir. second component uh, how many statements are there uh a uh, statement i had four sir four uh, four i had after reduction after uh, removing oh, okay, all the okay, four four in mm. environmental how mm. much is sir so environmental i i uh, i had five questions uh, over there i got only two okay uh, there is one more suggestion each factor mm. should contain maximum five variables sir uh, that is another rule okay. you can follow that okay, rule okay. also uh, five see, okay thank you sir Amma. uh five 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 is there but uh, see if you feel certainly this should not come in that uh, group then uh, mm. better you give uh, you give the same question to the respondents or other respondents mm. and get the replies right okay you you reconduct okay, it you reconduct the test because mm. see respondents may be in different mode mm -hmm. so morning morning uh, i i will be in some mode afternoon some mode and evening i will be in other mode right so if yes, i if sir. i get a google link what i will do okay mr uh, ranjan uh, gave me a link uh, if i don't answer it uh, that man will feel bad about it so better we will take up the survey quickly and i am in mm -hmm. a mood to mood uh, i may be in a mood to go to temple or somewhere out right okay okay See, this Got is the problem ha mm. uh, this is a problem don't mm. give uh, survey in google uh, link or google questionnaire right uh, google okay. form uh, it is not effective my suggestion is so you go sir, and meet the participants in person right so that mean paper paper and personal uh, presence would be better than the ah, google ah printed okay. you sit with them you sit with them or arrange uh, uh, gather them 10 10 people or 20 gather them explain them tell okay. the tell the contribution of your research to the country so i had this problem i did not use, i had used the google form that time you have you have used a google okay. form Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That time I did. See, not only for you. Ninety percent of research scholars are using Google Forms. What is the what is the greatest disadvantage? Is they lack commitment. See okay. what they are getting. ये दुनिया है ना काम का दुनिया ना. What they are getting? Nothing. Their twenty minutes are going to be how they feel. Twenty minutes are gone. Or or else or else this person will think bad about me. He will not talk to me, right? So see, not keeping research in mind, people are responding. right they they are keeping the friends in mind okay this friend sent me so what to do i have to answer so what mm. kind of quality you can expect right so you have to sit with them earlier see 50 years back interview is the best method of research uh, technique interview no yes, they sir. will find out they will find out whether the respondents are have really giving the true answer or not they will frame cross questions uh, or repeating the same question so okay google link is okay but uh, uh, See, it depends on the sincerity of your uh, respondents, right? Okay, nice. 
Okay. I think I thank I, you, sir. I, uh, I gave you much ideas, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Let's thank you, sir. Right. Uh, Rinku ji, are you, are you with us? She was very sad. Put the sad emoji. Rinku or Rinku? Who is it? RS. Rinku, are you with us? Right. Then, next. Component transformation matrix that we don't need now. Component score coefficient. This is the coefficient score, right? Uh, then component score covariance uh, is not required. So where is the factor score? I told you about, I have picked the factor score display, right? Component transformation. This, actually, what is the meaning transformation is? Component uh, transformation. Very interesting discussion. Thank you, Amir. Component transformation is, uh, see, look at component one and two. One and two, uh, this one is plus negatively. Bit negatively correlated, right? They are negatively correlated. Then one and uh, yes, component one and two positive, one and three point four seven five, right? With yes, you see the first line, you will get the correlation between the uh, components. Point seven two, not component. It is a transform. How they transform that matrix? Okay. Now let us shall we perform another analysis quickly for financial discipline, right? Shall I perform? dimension factor now i am going to throw all this variable to the left side again hey don't put reset button don't click reset button if you put reset all the menus here you know that will be reset so i always prefer to send them back from where they came fd1 to fd11 11, 11 variables right side clear now i am performing in financial discipline financial discipline Okay. Are you getting the output? Uh, enter yes. Are you getting new output or old output? Hello. Hello. Yes, am I audible? Right. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, right. Now, um, is a, right. This is a new output. This is not the see one exercise is over. In fact, no, this is second exercise. I will rush up fast. Uh, KMO sampling will be point seven eight one. Good, good sample. That is enough sample. See, in our in our uh, uh, in our case study, how many uh, respondents were there? 625. Uh, 420, 4, 465. 465 is a sample size. That is enough, right? Now, what is a chi square? Uh, sorry, what is a batlet test of sphericity sig? 0 0.00. 0 .00. The 0 0.00 means good. Good. There exists a variation and you are permitted. There exists a variation. H naught rejected. I think I need not explain it again and again. It's 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 not rejected, right? Okay. Then that means H1 accepted. Okay. Now communalities. Look at the communalities 0 0.97, 0 0.97, 0.85. Ha, huh, there is one, there is one culprit is there here. 0 0.581. Weak. Again, this 0 0.6, let us see 0 0.6, how many? Okay. So I feel even 0 0.697 is okay. That is not weak. Almost nearing 0 0.7 is good. Two variables. Two variables are uh, looking to be weak in terms of uh, giving extraction, extracted agent value, right? 0 0.581, 0 0.605. Okay. Then what is the FD6? FD8 number FD6 FD8 okay FD6 and FD8 now now what is the total variance table uh, gives there are only three factors emerged you you look at the rotated sum enough you look at the rotated sum first this one agent value score total variance score and finally look at the 
total variation percentage total variation percentage clear hi you sorry 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 instead of uh, coming to right so what are the three individual agent value score component 1 2 3 uh, total percentage of uh, variation score uh, they are important uh, that to under the head rotated sum of squared loading see there are three columns initial agent values extracted sum of loadings rotated sum of loadings so you go to the third one rotated sum of squared loading component 1 is giving you 30 percentage of variation component 2 50 uh, 26 percentage component 3 22 23 uh, 22.59% okay so this percentages will explain you to what extent uh, the variation is explained the variation is explained in this study okay so 79 79 is good see above 70 what is the thumb rule above 70 above 70 you can consider see i am i am why i am drawing all these means in each and every step in each and every step you have to verify whether this output are eligible for factor analysis first test demo whether you have got adequate sample size and whether your null hypothesis is accepted or rejected communality is about the strength of the Uh, individual variables right then uh, when we look at what are the two variables fd6.58 fd8.6 by looking at the values extracted we uh, we feel that they are weak right okay next third one mm, variations okay 79 scree plot i told you the meaning in the earlier part see look at only three components are having good slope after uh, from four the slope is absent that means they are it's a flattened line see look at that. the line is flattened from here the line is flattened only this three lines are having good slope right that may it shows that uh, the three factors are emerged okay okay now uh go to the reproduced correlations matrix it will show you how much percentage just a are what is the percentage 20 percentage now look at 20 percentage is there having absolute value greater than 0.05 what is the thumb rule anyone put it in chat box thumb rule it should be less than less than 35 percentage for good for r 35 maximum 50 rule says 50 but better keep it less than 35 less than 35 is good practically right then what is the next one so 20 percentage is good that means you don't have so many non redundant residuals then rotation look at the rotation four statements in group 1 two in group 3 in group 2 then again four statements in which group group 3 right uh, almost they show good factor loading 0.998799 uh 8 8 8 8 six ah now i think i remember that uh, one of the student one of the research scholar in a, one of the participant raised one question about uh, when i explain this absolute value less than 0.3 who is that uh, in participants see uh, i told them that i will explain at the right time right this what is this 0.370 means what is this 0.3 okay okay uh, anyone what is this 0.37 what what it does because already it came into group 2 already it is in group 2 why it is again came to group 3 what is the problem cross loading good rajiv cross loading very good good cross loading means 
there are some variables who 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 are sharing common features with other group also in in real life also it is happening suppose even you divide this uh, 30 students in five group some student you know some one or one or two student or one student um, they may show they may show cross features with other group also that is a problem they will not stick to a particular group they may not stick to a particular group so similarly this variable fd2 uh, though it may be in group 2 they are appearing in group 3 also that is called cross loading but rule says if it is less than cross loading up to 30 okay maximum up to 40 percentage okay 40 percentage okay okay means what very rarely see if you have see listen there are 11 11 variables again if all the 11 variables have cross loading means i i am not saying it is okay if if any if any one or two variables they have some cross loading okay you may ignore it you may ignore it and you can proceed clear uh, who who raised this doubt that time rajiv who raised that when i was explaining that uh, in the, with the help of menus absolute value less than right see it is good see those who raise the doubt i i remember that i will tell them in the right time no one okay so cross loading is permitted up to how much percentage 40 percentage but very rarely one variable or two variable not for uh, many variables suppose if more cross loading is there you have to change the method of your uh, you go, you should go for a, i told you no another principal axis factory don't use a principal component go for principal axis factory there uh, you may get some slight modifications right then component score coefficient matrix then okay right so again three groups are formed uh, now look at i told you there are two weak variables what are they uh, when you see when you look at the communality sixth variable fd6 is very weaker but now fd6 comes where fd6 comes in fd6 fd6 see look at 0.694 okay nearing 0.7 see this is this is the problem in communality is extracted uh, variance shows that it is very weak it is not very weak it is weak 0.5 and are weak but in rotated component matrix while grouping them into group 3 uh, they are good 0.694 is good factor loading 0 0.7 0 0.7 minimum is good factor loading so i feel it, they need not be eliminated so see you have to apply your wisdom before you can eliminate and uh, contact see look at if you want if you which variable you want to eliminate fd2 is how much cross loading is there you know fd2 fd2 is 0.788 but they have cross loading and another one okay i will remove step by step fd2 and what is another one fd fd2 fd6 fd6 okay what about other another variable i have listed out right which is, what is it here fd9 okay i said fd8 also i said fd8 where it is where the fd8 is there financial discipline eight. it is in the first point 755 leave that don't eliminate that it is good see sometimes uh, there it is a kind of illusion in communality table they may be lesser but in while you are uh, after performing a rotated component matrix uh, way of rotating the variables with uh, for forming the group they may give you good factor loading so you please keep that so you have to see all this uh, not only with one metric right so now which which i said to eliminate a weaker one uh, fd2 see remember fd2 let us remove and check whether we are getting uh, improvised result analyze dimension reduction factor you remove fd2 now let us see 0.733 okay okay 80 percentage are you getting this you are getting more variation earlier it was how much 
earlier earlier what is the variance earlier 79.3 now it is 35 not much different 80.17 okay still now better improvise why it is improvised because of removing one variable which has cross loading that one student that one student is problematic because he is not sticking to one particular group right so we are removing him from from the total list we are removing so that the problem is solved we feel it is solved now let us see 19 percentage earlier it, how much percentage it was 21 now non redundant residual also is coming down are you watching this right 21 now it is 19 here it is 19 earlier it was 21 okay then now it is 19 after that now look at rotated component 9987887999 fd2 i have removed fd2 i have removed now you look at uh, communalities <coughs> 9978588867 here again fd6 fd6 what is fd6 fd6 where it went 0.701 you need not remove it let it be because 0.7 and above is a good uh, factor loading okay so my see what i am explaining you before you remove one variable uh, check once or twice with so many uh, metrics metric means see communality is one way of metric then uh, here uh, non redundant residuals is another way then the, the the additional way then component factor loading so among these three which is very important is factor loading this factor loading is very important table if it is above 0.7 please don't do anything but still now cross loading if you have three cross loading suppose fd1 has three cross uh, it is it has loading in all the three component so i can suggest you may remove fd1 an example i am telling you if one particular statement has so many cross loading you can remove it uh, right royally you can remove it because uh, that that particular statement is disturbing it is not helping us it is, and you will get a problem uh, you cannot get a, an inference properly see if one variable is in all the three groups it is very difficult for you to write the interpretation okay so i hope factor analysis we are done with right okay let us go to the next one uh multiple regression i will uh, go for a again new share okay is it visible right yes my 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 screen only but it is not moving is visible but uh, why it is not moving terminology yes Ah, okay, over then. See, these are all the output. Rajiv, you uh, load or lower your hand signal, right? Okay, this case study is over. This case study is over. Whatever the output came, see, I have listed out here. Okay, of course, I would have eliminated some variable and I would have performed that. Now let us go to the regression analysis, right? Regression, multiple. You know very well. correlation refers to the relationship between the variables regression measure the strength of the relationship there should be definitely two types of variable one is independent that means uh, very free free variables another one dependent variable dependent means which is affected by the free variables right brand x surveyed its customers and tried to find out the impact or influence of customer awareness attitude motivation on purchase decision this is the case study example so brand x they gave, they surveyed their customers and tried to find out the influence of the customer awareness attitude and motivation on the purchase decision of the customer what is the hypothesis null hypothesis there is no significant influence of awareness attitude and motivation on the purchase decision of brand x there is no significant impact 
that means uh, all are all are equal then alternate there is a significant impact there is a significant impact now uh, this is output table this is output table i will take you to the uh, regression yes window is closed good um just a moment a regression and the regression data right i will open another file a regression is simple only factor analysis only you need to know more because uh, that is a base for uh, your pls amas everything for model building once you perform factor analysis uh, you can uh, regression is the final task don't do regression initially you finish all the factor analysis and related uh, uh, statistical analysis then finally you find out the impact right regression means impact influence influence of uh, independent variables on the dependent variables right uh, is a just a moment i am sharing this powerpoint Huh. Is the data shared? Please enter in the chat box. Is the data shared? Yes, right. Regression data. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Okay. See, it is a discrete data. so we have measured the percentage percentage of awareness with the help of the data we collected i have converted into uh, some discrete values right absolute value so 15 23 14 uh, you can take it as a point 15 point 23 point 14 19 okay so what are the three independent variable awareness attitude and your motivation these three things how they are affecting your purchase decision that is a uh, objective of your uh, um, analysis doing this multiple regression analysis why it is called multiple multiple means you have three independent and one dependent variable if you have only one independent one dependent that is called single single regression or simple regression multiple means more than two more than more than one independent variables should be involved then it is multiple analyze analyze regression see there are so many kind linear curve partial list binary multinomial ordinal probit non linear weight estimation two stage you just uh, uh, search it google it and find out uh, what kind of uh, regression is required for you uh, mean majority see uh, a commonly linear regression we follow because uh, most of our data follows the pattern of linearity right so linear okay what is a dependent variable here anyone enter in the chat box which is a dependent variable purchase decision stuff good purchase decision is your dependent variable right rajiv good okay shweta kumari correct tusharika right so purchase decision you drag it to the dependent variable column independent other three other three awareness attitude and motivation okay this you put it in independent awareness attitude and motivation then you go to the statistical part statistics it is by default estimates and model fit is thick if you want additional information you can get r square change descriptive partial correlation diagnosing of collinearity covariance but not required durban watson case wise diagnosis that's okay you leave it because by default it is okay you see if you give so many output you have to explain so much things make make research simple okay if it is required if it is really required r square change collinearity diagnostics if you are very meticulously if you want to conduct this then you click all the box <coughs> linear regression plot y plot x okay this is about your graph okay is it pressed dr pressed 
that's okay you leave that don't do anything save don't save anything because uh, uh, it will be saved in your uh, variable set and you will and you will you will be confused so many variables will be in your list options include constant okay exclude cases see what is a probability of value entry 0 0.05 okay whether you whether you want to use p value or probability of s or use f value we are using this probability value only okay then bootstrap is not required bootstrap is performed for only for so when the number of sample is more than 1000 right right can i put enter okay is it clear three independent one dependent variable click okay let's see how much it came r 0.67 r is what r refers to coefficient of correlation r 67 percentage correlated good okay output table i have to wait a moment output table yes yes uh, is it clear output table sir result no no okay now i share that is a problem in spss uh, data table when when we after performing analysis i have to again uh, go to the new share right see model summary r is 0.614 r square 0.455 that is if you square it that is called coefficient of determination adjusted r square okay So actually, what is the meaning? They are correlated to the extent of 67.4 percentage. Good. R square 45. Better coefficient better 45 percentage. Uh, thumb rule: less uh, minimum 40 percentage R square is okay. It can go up to 70 percentage. If it is 80 percentage, very good. That means you have covered uh, you have covered all the independent variables. The uh, that means uh, uh, maximum maximum parameters of the study are taken into. account if the if you get more higher the r squared value if if the r squared value is higher that means you have considered many independent variables nothing is left out or very few is left out okay anova i look at the first thing here sum of squares of regression 19 377 another one i am drawing so okay This what is the first one? Nineteen three seven seven. Another one twenty three two three three. Uh, actually, regression regression should be more than residual. That is for a good uh, for a good regression analysis. Your regression should be more than residual. Remember this. I have another edited data where I will get this. And I will show it to you. So why the problem is coming? Why here regression is less than uh, residual? The problem is. because of your r squared value is 0.4455 usually it should be above 0.6 r squared value if your r squared value is about 0.6 definitely 60 percentage of uh, factors you have covered now you have covered only 45 percentage that means now what is a, a interpretation uh, while 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 a consumer decides to buy or not purchase decision means a, cust a customer before deciding to buy or not not only is uh, awareness motivation and uh, what is another thing three, three things i have mentioned uh, just a moment what are the three things awareness attitude motivation apart from this there are many other factors apart from this there are many other factors which are many other independent variables are present but which you are failed to observe are you understanding see there is a meaning in every table every table has its own significance what is a residual so residual means residual means unexplained unexplained phenomena unexplained phenomenon that means more independent i will write i am putting in chart box more independent variables more independent variables are left out in your study you have left out some independent variables 
so only this regression is partially is good of course with the with these three you have conducted the regression and they have impact but there are so many other things which you are, which you failed to identify and didn't uh, bring it to your uh, research that is the meaning of this table clear so praveen patel clear praveen but how will test be knowing if you had not fed it no it is not uh, see yes i will i will answer this to this based on data values only test is conducted right the computer never takes your uh, qualitative write up that means they they don't take your consumer attitude awareness they are not bothered about the name of the variables point one they are only performing this with the help of data set but what data says data says that sum of squares of regression are less than sum of squares of residual so what is the meaning there are some data missing i am coming to your way there are some more data are missing which when incorporated can give can give you more result that is the meaning so when some more data is missing how you will get another extra data with the help of extra variable so that's why uh, that's how we conclude that some more independent variables are required to make this regression a more powerful right is it clear now pravin yes sir yes ah uh, yes computer see that to spss will never read your variable name It's simply based on your data only everything is done but how we in statistical what is the statistical meaning of data is if regression sum of square is lesser definitely there are something missing some data is missing some variable more more data is missing or more variables are required that is the meaning next third one coefficient table what is a coefficient table it shows you unstandardized and standardized coefficient value now look at this this two attitude and motivation attitude and motivation so they are good they are good but in awareness the p value is 0.151 that means they are not significant so what is the interpretation awareness is not significant awareness not significant and but attitude and motivation are significant so you uh, you should make consumer more aware you should make consumer more aware that is how we can interpret so consumer awareness programs has to be conducted or a consumer is not having sufficient knowledge to arrive a purchase decision that is a uh, inference but apart from this there are left out there are see apart from this one one is awareness two is attitude three is motivation right apart from this there are some other variable four five six which is which is not explored in this study so this regression though it is multiple linear it is not comprehensive are you getting it is not comprehensive i have another data set where i can show you that uh, regression the r square is 85% or 80 80% okay is it clear to all hello participants clear yes ah uh, are you understanding the significance of the table see there are many statistical experts but they don't they don't give this interpretation because you can't blame them uh just a moment uh, we can't blame them they may be in some other domain see science people they don't know how to interpret for commerce or economics or management vice versa so analyst they simply work with the data so they will tell you what the data tells right okay so there are how many tables model summary anova coefficient 
okay sig value oh, okay sig value point zero zero okay now you can answer me one question how why you why you went ahead with uh, regression h not is rejected i told you right h uh, what is h not there is no significant impact that is h not so what is the other side of h not alternate hypothesis significant impact is there so impact is there see the question is this researcher wants to know whether awareness attitude and the motivation they have an impact so h1 is accepted impact impact is there but what this data is further telling us you can even extend this uh, study to include other variables also so that you can find out the uh, total impact of left out variables on this purchase decision that is a meaning okay mm, right you want uh, some other data then i can what is sam 750 any doubt uh, so far uh, you can unmute or you can put it in the chat box it's 58 from 64 participant list is 58 arindam niswas valaramati tevar vaishnavi okay ranjit ravi sivasta any doubt in regression you want good regression i can show you the uh, okay i have another table where i will show you parametric one sample uh, parametric regression and if i okay just a minute for it wait a minute what is it so no sir will explain okay 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 no it is not a, don't feel that uh, In wasting time. Uh, sometimes when you do work, you will get this. You know, data of the files or the scale values, experiments. Uh, you know, this element not here. I will, I will show you. Just, just a moment. Regression is very simple. Very quickly, we can do this. Must mm, data D C P P. one moment one moment i will tell you i will give you the regression but this data is a live data which i am not permitted to share i am working for a research scholar okay anyhow i will find out uh, just a moment because i i told you that i will give you a data where you will get more r square value regression linear okay decision making satisfaction okay okay from satisfaction process people physical evidence motivational uh brand trust awareness what is another file okay this this just a moment process promotion satisfaction place satisfaction price okay i will find any doubt you can meanwhile you can converse with me any doubt Nirajan, clear? So no doubt. So just a moment. Yes, point uh, six it is coming right. Okay, this is somewhat. This is another output. I am. See, look at. Okay, at least you see the output. Uh, is the new output visible? Is the new output visible? Yes. Shafiq, yeah. 
say look at r value point eight when r square point triple six an improvised model. So this is good. This is point triple six came right. Regression. Now look at the score. Regression four one eight five. Residual two one zero three. Are you all with me? So regression value regression is greater than residual. That means you have well only few still now still now few things are left out. Few things, few other variables are left out, but it is significant. Significant. Then yes. Then here, what are the significant values? Brand, uh, brand awareness, say again, A brand awareness, uh, then preference to buy, brand trust, consumer knowledge is there. Here in this study, knowledge is good. Motivation is good. But other, other, way, other, other variables are not significant. See, other variables are not significant. That means what? Look at the standardized coefficient. When it is when it is significant, the point zero 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 coefficient score will be good. That is how you can correlate. Point zero zero four coefficient is good. What about the others? See point nine eight. They are not significant. N S means not significant. This this uh, circled one not significant. Not significant. See, look at the standardized beta. Always look at standardized beta. That is our coefficient of the regression. So 0 0.03, 0 0.00, 0 0.042, very, very lesser, very lesser, right? So they are not, what you can say, they are not, they are not significant. Only two variables are significant. What are the two? Consumer knowledge, consumer motivation. So now in this research, what happened? Knowledge is good because based on the response, motivation is good. She has covered other other things also. Look at brand awareness. Actually, I should take only Likert one. Uh, okay, I have wrongly taken this also. Brand awareness, Likert scaled, and other things are also Likert scaled. Preference to buy, brand trust, consumer knowledge. So now look at she has covered extra. What are the extra things? Brand, preference to buy, brand trust, awareness of brand, brand trust, preference to buy. So now it has improved. Which is improved? Which value is improved? Model summary value is improved. Yes. Model summary value is improved. What is the model summary value? 0. 0.666 coefficient of determination. That is R square, which is good. That means 66 percentage it explains. This uh, regression is explaining up to 66 percentage. Okay. Now the result is also good. If you find out of 6,289, what is the regression? That is the score. If you find how much? See, 4185 divided by 4185 by 6290. This is a score you will get. Variation score into 100. So can, can anyone tell me what is the percentage? 4185 by 6290 into 100. I will also work out it. The calculator is there. 418500 by 418500 by 6290. What is the percentage? 66.53, correct? 66.53. Now look at the R square. Same. 66.6 almost. In decimal only they change. That means again, this regression summary is explaining the impact, the influence of the variables on the purchase decision or satisfaction, whatever may be, to the extent of 66.66. Now, still now, more, still now some variables are left out. See how many variables are added? This is, these are all existing already in the previous research, three variables. Uh, this madam added three more variables. Again, you can add three to four variables, but you have to find out which is helping you. Review of literature. Only your extensive study on review of literature can help you to find out more independent variable. That is the conclusion. But regression is good. You can find out you can find out the influence influence of two variable, three variable, or whatever may be. 
regression is there influence is there but if you want to bring all the variables definitely you should have extember knowledge on review literature and very connected review you should take you should not go see for the sake of study you should not take uh, you should not read uh, uh, some uh, non connected uh, uh, research you your research is very focused and it should be connected right so what where is the key strength lies more review right yes yes more review is will help you to find out more independent variable let us see where it results whatever may be whether factor analysis where anova or t test more relevant reviews that is why nowadays uh, what is that bibliography or uh, some bibliometrics a new uh, a very recent scientific way bibliometrics will help you to get uh, more kind of more relevant reviews more relevant reviews that is why all chapters are important uh, introduction your review of literature then your conceptual framework or research methodology then analysis then finding and suggestion conclusion okay i is it clear uh, i will uh, on my video any doubt yes participants i feel i feel that you got something today right why so silent say at least thank you understood or i will follow or we will adopt yes sir shafiq yes sir now what about other participants fruitful class thank you ah this kind of word see fruitful class good rajesh sheta kumari ajit kumar yes i think you got to learn more technical research right valarmati tebar right bokya anil can you give mail id yes i am entering this is my sir it was difficult to understand factor analysis part ha huh. uh we had a problem in understanding factor analysis part so i think See, we will need we will be needing more help in factor See, analysis session, part one session you will not get full idea yes sir that could be the reason you have to work yes, out work out work out i don't you know uh, uh, sometimes statistically statistically you you will uh, we will see that the variable has to be eliminated but practically that variable will be very useful oh, one small example i will tell you you have six people in your home right uh, father mother and four people uh, your brother sister three will be working one will be not working but the one who is not working in your home he will be very uh, key person and he will uh, he will be only a uniting person he is a bridge between you all six so how you can uh, simply eliminate him uh, saying that he is not earning right one small example that uh, uh, before you eliminate before you consider any variable or any person as weak please think very clearly whether uh, his role is important or not uh, simply i am telling you why factor analysis uh, uh, is is bit difficult in what terms means statistically it may qualify for elimination some variables but uh, in terms of significance to the study it may not remember the significance of each and every variable then you can understand the uh, factor analysis and one more uh, suggestion if you are well aware of the grouping if you are well aware of the grouping already don't do factor analysis don't test yourself because you already know the group or you do one thing uh, you you do review literature carefully and find out whether they are grouped already see uh, before you go for uh, data collection my suggestion is that you must be thorough with your variables when you can be thorough with variables more background study has to be done 
preview of literature is the top most priority so don't skip that learn well that because well learned review will help you to get a very uh, uh, what do you say a qualified variable qualified variable will definitely will help you to get uh, will be subjected to good analysis and will fetch you fruitful results right okay thanks thank you so thank you thank you all